forests are made up of communities of trees and other living things. So the size of the trees and the number of the trees matter, especially when it comes to things like light and photosynthesis. Well, how many trees is the right number for a forest? Well, stay tuned and we'll show you how foresters measure the crowdiness of forests. think that crowdiness is really a word. It should be. No, but the measurement it, it, that you're describing does make sense, which is what we call stand density, which is measuring the amount of light that comes in in between the trees in a forest. And that's really important for those young trees to be able to get enough light to grow. Trees grow best with a certain amount of light. Foresters use a term called basal area to measure that amount of light, which we'll explain in just a minute. If we imagine cutting down all the trees on an acre at a height of four and a half feet, and then we measured the area of all those stump tops, we would have the number of square feet. That number of square feet is called basal area. Now, foresters need tools to help us measure basal area. I've got a couple of tools to show you here today. We're not gonna explain why they work because there's a lot of math behind it, but we will show you how to use these tools. One of the simplest and cheapest ways that we measure basal area is with this tool we call an angle gauge. The gauge itself must be held exactly 24 and 3 quarter inches from her eye. You start with a tree that you can remember and then slowly turn a circle and count all the trees that are wider than the slot in the gauge. This tree is in. And this tree would be out, or we don't count it. So here's the easy part. Once you've counted the number of trees that were in, you just multiply it by 10. So let's just say I counted six trees total. I multiplied that by 10, and I have 60 square feet per acre. And we can use a prism. Same purpose as the angle gauge. As I look through the prism, Part of the stem is offset to the left, but it's still touching the standing part of the tree. So therefore, the tree is an in tree, or it's a tree that will count for basal area. And here, the tree that George is standing next to, you can see the offset part of the tree does not touch the standing part of the tree. So that is an out tree. We would not count that tree for basal area. Something's missing. Now foresters have many other kinds of measurements that they take in the forest and a lot of other different kinds of tools. We always want to use the right tool for the right job. Georgia, that's true. But you know, not everybody looks at the same way at these tools that foresters do. <laughs> yeah, take a look at how these kids are using these tools in a really creative way.
that was that was pretty neat. I get, something. Yeah. You know, these have just been a few tools that foresters use to help measure trees and measure the forest so that we can better manage them. And using all these tools, I have to admit, is just plain fun. No kidding, Georgia. A lot of fun. And with that, we'll see you next time on Believe It or Not. Thank you.